Well, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, this is kind of a random video. Uh, I'm doing it uh, so I can reply to a thread over at the RPF uh, forum. A gentleman uh, who goes by the name NKG asked if anybody had uh, the Diagostini R2-D2 and had done any improvements, embellishments, uh, weathering, I'm sure mods, uh, uh, things to correct uh, the flaws in the build. Um, this is what I've done so far. Uh, my other builds are kind of getting in the way, but I did want to do this. I've articulated as much as I can uh, the um, control arms on the right side of the robot. And because I don't have, uh, I do have a second, uh, this is the orange pie that uh, they use inside the robot. Uh, I got a second one. I'll be using that to control all of this. But for the sake of today's video, I've got a couple of um, servo uh, uh, controllers and uh, motor drivers, and I'll be demonstrating this in a very manual sense, so bear with me, but it's, it is primarily so that I could post uh, that, uh, yeah, there are people out there that are uh, building the R2-D2. I love it, um, despite some of its uh, flaws and eccentricities, primarily with the batteries, um, but um, uh, mine works perfectly, and this is uh, what I've done so far. So again, bear with me. Uh, I'm going to be holding the camera while I turn on the power supplies and hopefully um, I'll do one arm at a time and then demo it. Uh, but in the robot it'll be controlled from a remote control uh, menu and uh, uh, hopefully it will be a little bit more impressive than what we're going to have right now. So uh, we're either going to get the one to go up or it's going to crash and burn. Which voltage is this? Nope, that's not the one. It's this one. So, okay. Let's see. Let's hopefully this will respond accordingly. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, let's get some of this. Well, hopefully you can see. All right. You saw the arm come up uh, and uh, uh, that's one of the things that it's going to do. But in addition to that, uh, uh, it also, if you look at the, there we go. Uh, give it a second here. Okay, well, I think I got it straightened out. Uh, actually, right now, it's just, it's really acting kind of very noisy, and I think it's these crappy little servo uh, testers or simulators, whatever you want to call it. Uh, um, the actual drivers will be a lot more stable than that. But uh, here we go, let's turn this on. Uh, I, I think a lot of it has to do with just the fact that um, just could be a little bit better um, isolated, a lot less uh, long wires, and just a couple of things that are causing, I'm sure, the glitching. But anyways, so that's about as much articulation as you can really do here. Um, what I'm using here is there's actually a tiny, oops, I don't know if I can zoom in on that. There's actually a tiny, uh, I don't know if you can actually see the, the hookup, a four phase or two-phase um, four-millimeter uh, stepper motor in there, as there is uh, on this one also. Here, let's bring him up. Okay, so I've got to shut him down, and we'll move to the next one, mainly because uh, I don't have enough I don't have enough supply lead. So, uh, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, well, I'm back on the other side, and as I suspected, I, I think the little um, servo uh, exerciser or whatever you want to call it, tester, is just buggy and that's why that side was so uh, jarring. This one here, as you see, uh, there we go, much smoother, there we go. And um, so, uh, and they also, I'm sure, are going to have to be uh, um, realigned uh, once they get into the prop. But, uh, uh, as I said, uh, um, they just uh, there we go. That's about all you can really do is just spin them. Um, if you try to do anything else, well, let me know. I'd be impressed. Um, but yes, I have done some mods, and uh, this is where I'm started. So sorry for the uh, sporadic video, but I thought I'd put something together so I could show uh, uh, NKG uh, that, uh, yeah, there are other people out there uh, modding their R2-D2s. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.